As you leave the school behind at lunchtime, eight lessons down, three to go, the individual squeals of children meld to a distant discord, and you are swallowed by the dormitory suburb. Neat houses behind electric shutters, which might contain other humans or not. The roads of childhood, straight as a diagonal shortcut across a vacant block, are no longer in vogue. In the new suburbia, curves are de rigueur. Footpaths, curbs, and berms, designed with civil engineers' compasses. In perfect arcs, as rare in nature as the straight line. It's a quilt of patches that don't quite merge. One owner's fescue salvaged to his neighbour's buffalo grass. Visible mending. In the no man's land of borders and disputed territory, the verge, the drains, nature reasserts herself with a welcome entropy of tangled mustard weed, marshmallows, artichokes. And impenetrable tufts of phalaris. In this suburb, divided up like lessons or rows of desks, you find yourself drawn towards disorder. The creek they will never tame. The weeds. As you leave the school behind at lunchtime, the individual squeals of children meld to a distant discord, and you are swallowed by the dormitory suburb, and you are swallowed by the dormitory suburb.